What is up guys, here we are today with the most overpowered Kodiak deck in the game. Um, the reason being that, you know, you're playing Razorbacks and Missiles, so your deck is already automatically the best deck possible. And then you have a Kodiak in there as well, because, you know, why not Kodiak? Why not Kodiak? We're going to try and Kodiak Jackson people's bases. That's going to be our game plan today. Ah, down the river, never lucky. Okay, I'm um, not sure if we're going to one or two Harvester yet, I haven't decided. To get Kodiaks out, we're like, ooh, okay. So what? Huh? Okay, I guess. I don't really know what's going on, I'm confused, I'm confused and scared. I guess we'll save up for a Razorback. Unit lost. I don't really... I don't understand... What? I don't... I don't <laughs> What's the game plan from here, though? <laughs> What's the plan from here, my dude? The bird. Copy that. What? 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 Enemy base destroyed. Okay. I guess. I guess. Okay, well, that was a surreal first game. Let's see what this guy also flamer rushes us. Did not flamer rush. Okay, good to know. So, we see a war factory. We do have mobile, don't we? Yeah, okay, cool. I really want a Kodiak at least once. Anyone who opens bikes is probably playing Chemical Buggy. That's usually my read. Because, like, opening bikes is pretty weird if you don't have an anti, uh, anti infantry unit in your war factory. Oh no, come on, Kate, sure. Okay, it's alright, we covered it. Alright, so it's wheels. I can't believe he didn't open wheels. Yeah, there's the chem buggy. Every time, man, you can always tell. You can always tell. Alright, so this game I'm really in the mood for some Kodiak, so I'm gonna double half now. I'm gonna shoot this drill pod whilst it's coming up, trying to kill some of the flames. Doesn't look like I got that. Didn't manage too much damage to it, unfortunately. We'll get the razor back to go with the mohawk. Now this is where Liang is really good because you can Liang your razorback mohawk combo and it can kill basically infinite bikes. Uh, without Liang, obviously it's a little bit weaker. It will eventually chip you down. But we're not really that fussed about that because we're just gonna Kodiak pretty soon. Yeah, he's gonna bike spam for a while. How close are we to Kodiak? Uh, pretty close, actually. Feels good, man. Get these guys set up, and then we'll Kodiak. Nice. And then we'll boost the Kodiak. Could go for the base, but also could just win the game. Boom. Kodiak. Kodiaking. Good job, Kodiak. Mission accomplished. Three, two, one. New objective. All right, Castigator. I think Castigator is spelled differently than that. Is it not spelled with an O? Let me Google Castigator. Yeah, it is spelled with an O. I was right. That's unfortunate, man. That's unfortunate. All right, let's see what Castigator is up to. We've got some missiles, and we got some Solomon, and we got some double halve. I like it. Nice healthy start to the game. Let's get a Mohawk and try and kill his Harvester. Uh oh, shock troopers! Couldn't have got the Mohawk out. Now we're not going to be able to. Uh... I guess I can send the Mohawk over here to fire the missile. Yeah, that's probably the play. And then, of course, we'll just raise the back the shocks. All right, cool. Let's get the halves so we can try and get the... Uh... Where are these shocks going? Are they going to my base? Is he trying to base rush me with these shock troopers? Very confusing. Oh, no, a hammerhead. Oh, it's going to be really difficult to get the harvester against a hammerhead. I guess we'll make a pit bolt and hide our razor back behind it. 
I just realized his hammer has level 8. That's, uh, that's unfortunate. I'm gonna go after the harvester. I'm being super greedy here. I should really chase down the hammerhead, but I really want to get a Kodiak out. And the game is gonna be over pretty soon, so. Yes, Kodiak, let's go! Maybe I can kill this Wolverine with it. That'd be sweet. Come on, Kodiak, you can do it! Yes, Kodiak! Boom! Yes! Ah, uh, easily worth. Easily worth. Victorious. Three, ah, back two, to down the middle again. Three, down the river, sorry. Sad. Prefer to play on flooded fields. Alright. We're up against Jade. It's a, got a Jade skin as well, which is a uh, pretty hard skin to have. Like this black, this black Jade, the black obsidian coat skin or whatever it's called. This is a difficult skin to acquire. I think you had to buy it when it was available or like win it in an event. So we're probably going to see a chemical unit fairly soon. I don't know if it'll be buggy or warriors. No, he's gone bikes. That's surprising. Okay, I'm going to move my rifles up to block his bikes. I don't know where they're even trying to go. Wait and see what he does next. Might be chem buggy if he's opened his war factory. I'm going to make a mohawk. Yeah, there's the chem buggy, as predicted. I'm going to try and block it off a bit. Get this mohawk into position. All right, we should be able to fire the missile now. Uh, those bikes just sailed right on past my rifles. There's some chem war- oh, it's chem warriors and chem buggy. That's surprising. And it looks like he's going for my base. Okay. Ooh, why not? Oh, I guess he has a phantom in his deck, probably. I'm guessing he has something to handle there. Might be stealth tank. Banshee? Okay, I didn't see that coming. Well, Banshee's actually decent against GDI. Uh, I guess we make missiles for now. My deck is a little bit weak to air. I've only got missiles and pitbull. Now, missiles and pitbull is all you really need, but yeah, it is awkward. Razor back over here, get the missiles on this. Come on, kill the chems. Razor back, thank you. How close are we to Kodiak? Pretty close! Pretty close! Because the Mohawk, because the, the Mohawk. I guess we could, I mean, I want a Kodiak base kill someone, but the games aren't going long enough for me to get the Kodiak over there. New okay, we're going to go rifles first again. This time we might try and... Get, we, I really want to try and get a Kodiak base kill. But yeah, the games just haven't gone long enough to make it happen. The fact he wants to charge makes me think I want to stall. Is that second half from him? It can't be right. It has to be the first. And he's moving it? Alright, that shows uh, a level of competency. Where's that rifleman going? He's happy for me to charge, I'm guessing. So he's indicated that. By the way, the game has gone so far. Alright, some chems. I think I'm okay with having two rifles on defense against these chems. They won't win, but they'll do some damage, and they're super cheap, so it's not a big cost. Yeah, they do a lot of damage to the chems, and I can save up for this Razorback. I also don't really want the rifles anymore, because I want to transition into missiles to go with my Razorback. That's what we're going to do now, make the, make the missiles. Yep, there's the bikes, that's why we want the missiles. Some more missiles. Get some missiles up here. Get this down here. All right, should be a pretty easy missile here. All right, we're gonna we're gonna try and save up. We're gonna try and save up for the uh, the Kodiak here. Not that far away from it. We might be able to go for a Kodiak base kill. Ooh, pretty, cl pretty close to Kodiak now. A oh, phantom? Come on, man. How am I supposed to Kodiak base kill you if you have a phantom? Ah, people always making it harder. Alright, 
All right, go on, Kodiak. You can do it. Go on. Go on, Kodiak. Here we go. Kodiak with Missile Escort. Let's do it. He's going for my half. I'm going for his base. Let's see who wins that race. Go, Kodiak! <laughs> yes! Big booms. Let's go. He might Jade Missile it. That's probably the best play from him here. He hasn't done it, though, so it looks like we're going to win. Yeah, Kodiak. Kodiak base kill. Way too strong. Objective complete. Three, oh man, down the river again. New objective Never lucky, guys. Never lucky. I see what Robert 38's got going on. I see a harvester. I see some missile troopers. I'm predicting a flamer squad next. Maybe a buggy. Let's find out. It's been a long time now. I'm thinking the flame is. Oh no, there he is. <laughs> oh dear. All right, so we're gonna line up some rifles on defense. Ooh, boosted flames. I actually don't know who wins this. I think he wins this. I think the boosted flames with the rifles not being on full defense. No, it looks like the rifles will still win. It was three v one, but that is seventy for twenty that he just made an exchange there. So not the best. Not the best. All right, so we'll get the razor back. That should clean up the flames really easily. There's double half. So we're going to try and save up for a, for a Kodiak again. Kill off these flamers. Ooh. Now we'll try and get our missiles onto his half and try and kill it. Are we safe for Kodiak? Phantom. Come on, man. Why has everyone got Phantom now? I just want to Kodiak some people. Is that too much to ask, really? I guess it must be, considering how rarely I'm able to Kodiak people. Alright, let's get the missiles on the Phantom as well. Rip. Pretty close to Kodiak, though. Alright, here we go. Kodiak time. Gonna try and get it to the base again, but the game might be over too soon. Centurion, don't care about that. Here goes Kodiak! Gonna let him on this pad, because I want to Kodiak his base, because it's more fun. I don't know if this counts as BM, I hope not. It's not meant to be BM, it's meant to be, it's meant to be for funsies. Go Kodiak, go! You can do it! You can do it, Kodiak! Oh no, it's all down to you now, Mohawk! <laughs> Come on, Mohawk! Wow, this is not going well. This base kill plan has not paid off at all. Now we're actually in trouble because we've got a bunch of Centurions as well. Oh dear. Sad times. Oh, he's got a flame tank as well. That's really not what I want to see. And guys, this is why I don't go the Kodiak base kill very often. Okay, I think we're going to be alright, but close one. Almost gave up the game. Almost gave up the game to try and Kodiak base kill. Ah, down the river again. I have a feeling this guy might be playing a bunch of tech units, so I don't want to try and go late against him. Because Kodiak's just not that good, honestly. I could be wrong. I could be wrong on my read. I just have a feeling. Unit ready. Ready. The fact that his initial engagement was off the pads as well kind of looks like he's trying to stall a little bit. So I think maybe he is teching.
Was he trying to pop cap? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool story, bro. Yep. Fun game for everyone. Super duper hyper fun. Alright, well he can't pop cap with a raider unit, so I can just run this rifleman around until he kills it by accident. And then we'll get missiles to go with the razor back. He gets his own razor back, sure it makes sense. Now we have to go pit bull. Put my missiles in a concave. Alright, it's looking pretty good so far. We're gonna take out the Razorback and we're gonna take out his pit bulls. I'm guessing he has two harvesters given the fact that he uh, didn't make a unit for a long time there. Like, he has so few units. Yeah, that's like two half. Alright, how close are we to a Kodiak? I just don't know if a Kodiak is even a remotely playable unit in this matchup. I'm guessing he's probably playing the Titan deck. So if he makes a Titan, I guess we can make a Kodiak to counter it, but then he'll just Hammerhead and Hammerhead will beat the... I'm ahead will beat the Kodiak a lot more than the Kodiak will beat the Titan. Yep, there's the Titan. So we'll make a Kodiak, but then we have to worry about Hammerheads. It's going to be pretty hard to beat a Hammerhead. So hopefully we can just kill the Titan with the Kodiak. Probably not though, because he can just keep walking away like this. This is the issue. And then here comes the Hammerhead, which I can't beat because I don't have good anti-air. So yeah, we're just in trouble here. Come on, Kodiak. Kill the Titan, please. Come on. Yes! Ah, oh, Kodiak. Good job, bro. Brodiak, more like. Am I right? <laughs> Good job, Brodiak. Alright, so now we just need to beat some hammerheads for a while, and then we might win the game. That's the idea, anyway. Hopefully he doesn't have time to get another Titan out before the game ends. Yes! Kodiak for the win, boys! There it is. The greatest tech units in all of Rivals. The Brodiak. Enemy base I'll find it on Google. I'll try again after this game. Three, two, one. New uh, rip okay. this map again. Never lucky. Bike rush. Okay, well, I guess we just won't make a harvester then. Pretty easy map to defend a rush on, honestly. Now we'll make a half. I feel pretty safe. Looks like he didn't commit to the rush. It was just a bike opening rather than a rush. Flamers, okay. Well, that's interesting. There's no way he can afford these flamers if he has a harvester. And now he is committing. Alright, so we'll get double rifle on defense. And we'll save up. Save up for a uh, Razorback. I mean, he's no half, so this shouldn't be a very difficult game. Maybe we can base kill him even with the Kodiak. Oops, let's get that over here. Come out. For Kodiak. Warning, our base is under attack. Building online. So we need 190 for a Kodiak. Alright, now we're gonna go for the base with the Kodiak. Come on, Kodiak, let's go. Yes, Kodiak, show him who's boss. Cody boss. Look at that guy, look at him go. Look how fast he fires with all three cannons. <laughs> Kodiak OP, my dudes. Kodiak OP. <laughs> 
Objective complete. Three, oh man, how do we get this map so often? <laughs> I swear it's like 80% this map. Alright, nothing from Kubi yet. There's a half and a rifleman. Halves in the wrong place. IMO. I don't even know if I want to be charging. I guess I should default to charging because I don't know this guy and when you don't know someone in rivals they're probably playing tech. Like most people play tech so it's a pretty safe assumption to think they're playing tech. Talon. Alright, so I guess we're going pitbull. Need to let him kill my low hit point squads and try and preserve the higher hit point ones. I don't really have any higher hit point ones now. They're all down to two and three men. All right, there goes the Talon. I want to try and lose some of these rifles. And then we'll probably just go raise back. Wow, Orca. Okay, I guess we'll make missiles and send them over here. Then I'll make a pit bull to follow up. Mm. This is not great. Oh, ah, I was really hoping he'd shoot the other pit bull there. To be honest with you. Okay, so we take out the Orca. We need to block these missiles for a little bit. Get our other people on the top pad. Oh, another Orca, that's annoying. Oh, nice. Oh, and a surrender. Feels bad, Kubi. I, I get it, man. It's a bad time. Ah, uh, down the river again? How is it only down the river? It's insane how often we get this map. Alright, so harvester rifle start from both. Again, I think his harvester is in the wrong place. That's going to cost him money when it has to move. Unfortunately, we have uh, lost this rifle mirror by moving our first rifle up too far. So we are going to be a little bit behind in the rifle mirror now. Interesting that he ran away there. Not sure what the point of that was. Do what he tech switches into. Air tower, no surprise there. Talent. Okay, so we'll make Pitbull. I guess that's why he ran his rifle. He wanted to block my Pitbull. Didn't really work out for him. I'm going to send this guy to die in Tiberium because it looks pretty obvious that my opponent doesn't want to kill him. Oh, there is two harvesters. Okay, well then. That changes things. So what I want to do against this Orca is micro my Pitbull through my Rifleman so that when the Orca shoots it, there's a chance it misfires and hits the rifles. Exactly like that. That is exactly what I wanted to happen. So now we kill the Orca without losing a Pitbull, which is amazing. Alright, so we're going to win first missile pretty easily. Now I guess we wait and see what his tech unit is. It's Zone Trooper. All right, well, time for the Razorbacks. We're going to go double Razorback, and we're going to protect them from Talons with our Pit Bulls. At least that's the plan. All right, so there goes the first zone. We lost a lot of lit hit points on our Razorbacks, though. Yeah, fighting off a lot of zones is not going to be easy. Alright, well we've killed a few zones. Hopefully he can't afford another one. because the Yes! Alright, nice. The next one I would have really struggled to deal with. Luckily the game is over, so I don't have to. Oh, there it is, guys. 10-0 with the mighty Kodiak deck. We very rarely made the Kodiak. The brief was to play the best Kodiak deck I could think of, so I just played the best deck. I best I played the best five card deck I could think of, because I figured that was the best Kodiak deck, because Kodiak is terrible. Unfortunately, we didn't get to use Kodiak as much as I would have liked, but we got a few Kodiak base kills, so it wasn't the worst thing ever. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you do want to play a Kodiak deck, I wouldn't recommend this one. Uh, you can probably play a deck that's more centered around the Kodiak. And trying to actually... This this deck baited out opponents anti-air too easily because we went air a lot. If you play a more War Factory centric deck with good anti-air, maybe play like Hammerheads to support your Kodiak. That would be a much better way to build an actual Kodiak deck. But I wouldn't recommend playing Kodiak at all. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed some Kodiak base killing. 
I'll see you all next time.